Good morning, Ayanda. The sun is coming up and uh, the display here is absolutely beautiful. And somebody was saying to me, but how can you praise these things? These are for killing people. But I suppose you have to look at it a different way. Um, you will see the footage that we've fared through. You'll see the beautiful just behind us, the Sika 400 UAS here at the Africa Defense uh, Exhibition that's taking place and it's continuing until the, which date? It's from the 17th to the 21st, ma'am. And that's how Mr. Simpiwe Hamilton comes in. He's the show director responsible for putting all of this together. And the first three days are trade days and the rest of the days? The public days for which is open for the public on the 20th and the 21st. And for which we have the proud support of the city and Caltrain for bringing people from the Centurion Station onto the base and from designated park and ride areas in the city. You say about 90,000 people are expected to come through. Yes, ma'am. On the two public days, 45,000 on the Saturday, 45,000 on the Sunday. And in fact, for these three days, we have another 45,000. We have about 120,000 attendees for the show on the trade days and on the public days combined. We talk about it, we say Africa Aerospace and defense, but it usually extends beyond just the military. It's also technology to help our everyday lives improve, isn't it? It is indeed, ma'am. We have our general aviation community here uh, who are part of the airlines, uh, who are part of the normal commercial flying business. But also I think most important is that military technology tend to have spin-offs uh, spin that uh, find use in uh, the general public. So, for instance, some of the rail safety technologies that we have come from the defense industry. Behind us is a truck from AXA Authority, which is a firefighting truck originally designed from a military point of view. And there's a couple of other technologies that are used in the general public that come from the military itself. But more importantly, we have as part of the show a youth development program uh, where young people will be exposed to technology in its generic sense. So uh, we have flying uh, simulators, we have model building, we have career guidance opportunities uh, and several other activities including an anti-rhino poaching program that we have partnered with one of the exhibitors on. Uh, and we will also have uh, the Bloodhound which is uh, the South African and UK collaboration to set the world speed record, land record that will take, pa take part in the Northern Pay. So that model, uh, uh, cut out of that model, will be part of the youth development program. And we have an exciting uh, bit for that, for the young people to come through on the, on the Saturday and the Sunday. Now, when we speak about exhibitions, it's usually in relation to the launch of products and new things on the market. What is considered products in a setting such as this one? Well, it can be anything from a bullet uh, to the actual rifle. The vehicle is a product. Um, so it, it depends on, on who you are speaking to. If you are speaking to an acquisition authority, they speak about systems level of integration. So it could be, it could be the aircraft itself. And they, they, once integrated, it becomes a system and sometimes a system of systems. But I think what is interesting here is we have South African technologies as well as uh, technologies from other countries. We have about 14 national pavilions. Uh, some South African companies, at least three, will be launching proudly South African products that will be launched here for the first time. Um, and we have delegates from more than 50 countries that will also be here as well participating. Besides showing off, what is the value of the AAD? It, it is quite a lot. I think the general public will be able to interface with a community that is sometimes clouded in mystery and myth. Uh, defense. Uh, needs to be opened up and to be regularized and to be made part of the South African society. Uh, so we would love to see young people grow up and wanting to serve both in the military and in the defense industry and the aerospace industry generally. So it also serves that purpose of opening up and bringing our people to, un to, to interface with uh, what was normally in the past actually not part of the society generally as well. You're right, as an ordinary citizen, it's actually absolutely awesome to be here and experience all of uh, the beautiful inventions that we're looking at here. Mr. Simpiwe Hamilton, the ADD show director, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to thank us. Thank you very much, ma'am, and see the rest of the people on Saturday and Sunday as well. They are welcome. Absolutely. And that's how we take it back to Joburg. We'll be back around the last hour of the show coming to you here from the Waterkloof Air Force Base in Pretoria.